Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric. Welcome back to Subnautica, where I have decided I'm gonna go check out LifePod 12, and maybe go to that island while I wait for the Sunbeam to actually, you know, come and try to rescue me. Until then, it's just a waiting game. Hello. A Cyclops hull fragment and bridge fragment. Cyclops parts. Sick. And a moon pool fragment. That'll be useful once I actually decide to build a base. Oh, and there's shale out here. Not something I want from it right now, though. Hang on, I sh I should be able to complete the hole with these. Yep. Great. Now I need... I think it's... Two more bridge parts. Uh, no, it's two more engine parts. One more bridge part. I'm gonna take that ruby. Rubies will be... Whoa. Combination of menus opening at the same time because I'm dumb. But, uh, rubies are something I'm going to need later alongside the aerogel I was collecting. Because both of those are required to make a uh, actual aerogel. I was talking about the gel sacks when I said it before, but... The making of aerogel is required in making the, uh, bigger vehicles that I need. Hmm, there should be something else around here. It isn't normally just the data pad. Isn't normally just the data pad. Normally there's a blueprint or something around. I mean, there's the egg for the electric shark things we've seen swimming around, but I don't think that's. Oop. It's attacking me. Hello. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave. Oh, there he goes. But, yeah, I'm just gonna head on out. Who knows, maybe I'll find more Cyclops parts on my way out. I was joking. I was just joking. I... Sure. Two out of three bridge. And another moon pull fragment. Okay, so now I have that. I'll have somewhere to park the Seamoth. Again, when I eventually get to building a base, which... You know, I'll want to, uh, visit that other island first, because... It has a base I can get a lot of blueprints from. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. And that's bridge complete. Yeah, once I got two out of three, I decided to actively search the area, because I knew there had to be something more. And <laughs> there's another one there. But... That just leaves Cyclops engine fragments. Wait, is that a modification station? It is! Another important thing to be used later. Much, 
much later. As in, it'll probably be a few episodes before I ever get that far. Is that you, Sunbeam? Nope. I... I've... I've already... I've already... found... that, though. I've... I've all... Yeah, I... I already found Life Pod 4, thanks. Anyway, let's store those stalker teeth. Make an aerogel, just so it takes up less space. And then... Uh, I could make some enameled glass. Because... That's the thing I also need for vehicles, and I picked up some stalker teeth on my way here. Stalker teeth! Dropped by stalkers when they bite on either scrap metal or your sea moth. I just happened to find some sitting near a piece of scrap metal that a stalker was not near, but presumably there was one there at some point. That or I was just blind and completely missed an obvious threat in my peripheral vision. That's possible. But... I have an idea. After all... Actually, I should probably get a new power cell for my Seamoth before I do. And repair it. But I am missing two parts of a Cyclops engine, and then I can make the big submersible itself. A common place to find Aurora parts, sorry, Cyclops parts, is behind the Aurora where a leviathan lurks. I did say that it was a must out of every Subnautica series to see someone being attacked by one. Yeah, that's where we're headed next. So, with a fully repaired and power cell replaced Seamoth, let's take a bit of a risk. Bumping into that ledge isn't gonna help me. Though apparently I didn't bump it hard enough to cause damage. There's an engine part, I think. That could just be one of the... Yeah, that's a regular metal debris thing. The engine parts are a little smaller than that. Not significantly, though. There should be similar big cylindrical debris around here. I'm gonna have to go closer to it. I was headed too far away. I wanted to play it at least a little careful while doing the risky business. Bridge we've completed. Random scrap metal. I, f I see its shadow. That's not good. That means it's like directly above and behind me. Um, oh hey, there's an engine part, and there's that leviathan. It can't get me if I cram myself in here, can it? I bumped my right mouse and scared myself on that. 
Where did it go? Oh well, that's gotta be scan range. Okay, two out of three. Just need one more engine part. Ugh. Okay. Just headed along the sea floor, trying to find the right thing. Look, there it is. That was surprisingly easy. Don't get eaten right now. Cool. I can make the full Cyclops. As satisfying for me as it is that I just did that and I can just get out of here immediately. Like, immediately I can be out of the range of it. Oh. This was not the edge of the biome I thought it was. This is closer to the aurora, actually. But, as easy as that... Oh! Not as easy as that. Hello. There we go! It's doing the thing! The thing everybody knows it for. It's really... Really fucks up your Seamoth. That was actually surprisingly clear lighting, too. And here I was about to brag about how I got away scot-free. I love this game. So let's inspect the damage. There's a part of the ship here that's smoking. There's clearly water leaking into it. The glass is lightly cracked, though it's pretty hard to tell. The electronics inside are sparking. You can tell a lot more clearly that there are cracks when I, like, hold the view next to something of a solid colour. But yeah. Uh... I did it. I did the classic thing in order to get a Cyclops. Now, Sunbeam. Aurora, we're approaching Hell the yeah. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be yep. able to establish direct contact with you during that time. That of course. You. Cross your fingers for the weather hole. You know what? You said that landing site is a better idea than the other options. Well, the other options is a frozen wasteland on the opposite side of the planet. No way I'm getting there. Uh, the other island here, very mountainous. Like, there isn't even a proper beach to land on like there is on this island. However, they might have neglected the fact there is a giant gun on the island they're trying to land on. To be fair, it doesn't look like a gun, but it's a gun. It's kind of unfortunate that I learned Sequence breaking, turning the gun off doesn't work. Like, you can do it, it's just the animation breaks. It... It doesn't actually stop the, the gun from destroying the Aurora. I mean, Sunbeam. All these different ship names got me confuzzled. But also, I only had one of the many purple tablets on this island, and I'm gonna need some more before I actually venture inside. Like the one up here. Huh. Is there not one in this room? Strange. 
Oh well. Guess we'll leave that ominous looking uh, archway for later. Also, ow. Hopefully that second tablet is enough, because I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember if it is. Cool, the metal of the structure is stronger than anything on Earth. Mm-hmm. Translation being... Oh. That was not it. I'll scan that ion cube and yoink it. These will be useful later. Just like many things done in this episode. Yoink. Yoink. They have gravity lifts. Incredible. They also have a moon pool. I could have entered from this point, but I chose not to. For very non-specific reasons. Hmm. A rifle. Hey look, another of those gates. Hmm. I wonder if it's like a star gate or teleportation gate of some kind. It absolutely is. Alright, they do have another purple tablet inside. I always forget that one's there for some reason. Until I pick it up again. And then inevit inevitably forget much later. Th that's a doomsday device? Hmm, contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. But it has malfunctioned. <laughs> That's it. Gotta love a doomsday weapon that doesn't work. Well, how convenient I have a key for said door. And so here we are. The control for the gun. Let me just, uh, boop. Hmm. What's up? Uh-oh. Ow. Oh. Quarantine, huh? Quite a heavily enforced quarantine. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. So. Infected individuals may not turn off the weapon. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Yeah. Yeah, landing on an alien planet that has an unknown disease sounds like a bad time. But also, I've still got 20... I've got like half an hour in real time to wait before the sunbeam actually gets here. 
Oh boy. Hey yo, I found another modification station part on my sort of detour of a way back home. Taking said detour to A. Pass some time and B. Collect materials for bigger vehicles. You know, like I can now make both the Cyclops and the Prawn Suit a lot earlier in the series than I was expecting to be able to do that. That was just lithium that was lit weirdly. I thought it may have been something else. Oh hey! Uh, time capsule. Useful? Oh, that's just the blueprints to make one by scanning it. These are all things I can pick up myself later. But you know what? I mean, I already have that toy. And... yeah. Oh well. They're items of sentimental value. But ones I could collect myself. So, um, I just paused the recording for a sec because of, uh, all the detouring I'm doing and, uh, this dialogue. So, I just paused the recording for a bit while I was doing all my detouring and this dialogue played. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Now, I know it's not referring to a Reaper Leviathan. It's referring to something much, much worse. And that means I unintentionally reached the edge of the map. Well, one of them. These are technically Leviathan class, but they're peaceful fellows. They are not what that dialogue was talking about. Okay, so... I have determined at this point that I can make a prawn suit with one more ruby and a bunch of titanium to make a titanium ingot. Oh, and, uh, some lead. But, honestly, fairly easy materials to gather. I mean, there's a bunch of titanium right there. And with our second piece of lead picked up just by... Ow. Thank you, Warper. I was actually heading this way anyway. Uh, with our second piece of lead picked up, that means I only need a single ruby to make a prawn suit. An excellent task for our next episode. Our next episode, which will begin in nine minutes with a bang. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.